Welcome to Panther Paws. I'm Carter Lockwood. This week, we had new news about our growing computer science program here at Huntsville High. Computer science is a class that has recently gotten a lot of attention at HHS. And oddly enough, some students aren't really clear of its definition. So we decided to interview some students to see what they thought it was. It's like all the uh, specific like scientific elements like aluminum and stuff that goes into making computers. I think it is a class where you learn about computers and science together, make computers. Well, let's see what this dictionary has to say. Computer science is a scientific and practical approach to computation and its applications. It is a systematic study of the feasibility, structure, expression, and mechanization of the methodical processes that underlie the acquisition, representation, processing, storage, communication of, and access to information, whether such information is encoded in bits and bytes in a computer memory of transcribed engines and protein structures in a human cell. A computer scientist specializes in theory of computation and the design of computational systems. <laughs> Since, obviously, not a lot of people know about computer science, we decided to interview Mr. Baker to tell us why it might be a good idea to take computer science as a class. Computer science is basically the study of the new programming tools that we have. Um, you know, a lot of people think it's just programming, but it's more than programming. It's really <coughs> the study of how the technology has impacted our society. I teach two different computer science courses, and so um, one of the courses, Computer Science A, is the AP course and it's strictly learning the Java language and it's very focused on programming. Then the other class I teach <coughs> is a new class called Computer Science Principles. And I'm actually piloting that for the state of Alabama. It's supposed to become an AP course in the year 2016. And that class, we teach programming, but we don't focus on a specific language. Um, I like the programming uh, with my Computer Science Principles. We use an interface called Scratch, BYOB. And I really like watching the kinds of things that students can come up with that. We'll do a unit here where they'll create a project and uh, a lot of people do games. And so it's kind of fun to see what kind of games they come up with. Most people are users of technology and I think it's important to go a little bit beyond just being a user of technology. I think it's important for everybody to learn a little bit about how to code. Um, not only does it give you um, a background in a field that's very lucrative, right now they predict in about four years, there'll be 1.4 million jobs for computer science people, with only about 400,000 people filling those jobs. And the starting salary is pretty good. It's around $70,000 a year. Why isn't it? We also interviewed some students of his to see what they thought about the class. All right, I'm in uh, regular computer science. Uh, it's a pretty chill class. I took it because I thought it'd be fun to make like some cool programs and games and stuff. This is John Melvin logging off for Panther Paws. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Everybody's seen a good viral video or two, but what really goes into the making of a great viral video? Here's Chris Hutto with the scoop. Panther Paws is entering a contest to make a popular viral video. We asked a student when he thought what it takes to make a good viral video. Well, it has to be funny and short. And it has to be something original, like, you know, everybody did the Harlem Shake, so it's not a good viral video, but something like hooking a harness to your sister and having her pull you on roller skates through Walmart, that's something more original. And what I think makes a good viral video is actually comedy and entertainment behind the video can't be a boring video, you know, because some videos on YouTube are just very plain. There's many ways to watch videos on the internet. YouTube is the most popular forum here at Huntsville High. We asked the student what their favorite viral video is. Oh, well, I don't know exactly what the name of my video was called, but in this certain video, there was a hillbilly sitting on a, an, on a like an ant hill or termite mound with like a medicine ball. And there was this other hillbilly in a truck and he drives like 40 miles per hour into the guy with the medicine ball and the guy flies like 40 feet into a tree. That was pretty funny, I guess. My favorite video would probably have to be um, School Sucks by Bugatti Bees. It's really, really funny. If you ever get in your spare time and you want to watch a very funny video, you should check out Bugatti Bees. If you have any good ideas for a good viral video, please send them in the Panther Boss. I'm Chris Otto.
This week in sports, the Huntsville High School cross country team pulled through sectionals and will participate in the state cross country meet. For state, we look like our team is ready. Uh, we feel that we're going to do really good this year and we have a good chance of winning this year. Thank you for joining us for another fantastic episode of the Panther Paws. This week, we close with a sweltering Yo Mama complimentary tournament. Enjoy. Our mom is so beautiful, she looks good without even trying. Oh! Our mom is so sweet, she put a brownie in my lunch. Coffee brownie! Oh! Our mom is so smart, she helped me with my calculus homework while she made dinner. Oh! Oh! Mom is so caring, I fell on my knee, she kissed my boo-boo! whole career. Our mom is so supportive. She encouraged me to pursue a major in my passion, okay. despite its limited earning potential. Oh!